Golding must love her some tender, as she apparently is taking credit for hooking up tartan-loving Scottish DJ Calvin Harris and everyone's favorite faux country girl, Taylor Swift. Calvin has even visited Taylor's native Nashville, Tennessee, even though she was technically born in Pennsylvania. And Ellie thinks it's only a matter of time before Taylor joins the Scottish-born star for a trip to his hometown, Dumfries. Yes, Dumfries, Scotland. Come for the castles and stay for the haggis. And would you believe the newest Instagrammer? She's well past the average tween and millennial user, coming in at 93 years old. Say hello to the only surviving golden girl and passionate advocate for animals, the legendary Ms. Betty White. Her first picture posted last night shows Ms. White joining her Hot in Cleveland co-stars raising glasses of champagne in honor of the series finale. We at Boom Zulu congratulate you, Betty not only on outlasting so many other starlets, but being an inspiration to strong women everywhere. Snoop Dogg has branded Caitlyn Jenner a science project. The cannabis-loving rapper lashed out about Caitlyn, formerly known as Bruce, on social media. Snoop Dogg posted a picture of fellow musician Akon on Instagram and wrote, shout out to Akon, he is about to supply 600 million Africans with solar power. I'm really upset that this isn't major news, but that science project Bruce Jenner is. Following the Vanity Fair cover shoot, which displayed the first images of Caitlyn as a woman, legions of celebrities, including singers Lady Gaga and Sam Smith, praised her for her bravery and beauty. During her last interview as a man with Diane Sawyer, Caitlyn confirmed that she was transitioning into a woman, revealing that she started the process in the 1980s after a lifetime of being a man and feeling uncomfortable in her skin.